In grade nine, I got bored in classes and I wanted to challenge myself. So I chose to come to William Osborne because I researched a lot about the schools and it had a way better IB program. I love interacting with students and I love problem solving, figuring out ways of making students understand something. So if I notice they aren't getting a concept, then I can go home and try to work out a new way of teaching it so that they can understand it. I have awesome teachers at William Osborne Lake. These teachers are, I think, the best teachers at any school. They like, they'll motivate you. They know like what you're capable of. They give you an amount that you can do, but that you haven't had to before. So it's kind of challenging you to the point where you can do this, like you are more than able to, and you have all the support you need. But it's getting you to actually feel like you can do it. The advantage they have is when they get to university, they've learned things that other students are starting to learn in first year university. In grade 12, they've got teachers, like 30 students to one teacher. When they're in university, they're gonna have 500 students to one teacher. So they're able to get much more help in learning these skills if they're doing them in grade 12. I was expecting university to be a bigger change from high school to be kind of more challenging, but I think that because I went to Osborne, I was better equipped to adapt. Even if we don't think about university in like life, IB will help me like understand more deeper stuff. You don't just cram that knowledge, you have to understand that and that's what IB lets you do. Teaching IB, I'm teaching the students not just a lot of knowledge in science, I'm also teaching them skills in science. I'm teaching them what science is all about, the entire field of science. How do you create a research problem? How do you try to answer the research problem? And how do you analyze the data? It's the real scientific method, real science. The best thing I liked about being in an IB class was there's like a mutual understanding and a mutual support between us. We know that we are here for a purpose. That helps a lot because if we have the same interest and we are like pursuing the same goal, then we will study together and then we are able to explain each other with different points of view and different perspectives and then we get to like understand more and more ideas. The skills students develop when they take IB are the skills to problem solve and the skills to create questions. But they also learn in the languages they need to do oral exams, that's English and their second language. So they're learning to speak and respond to stories. In all of the arts, they have to actually provide the artworks. For the sciences, they have to do their own independent, individual investigation where they create the question, they figure out the best experiments to answer it, and they analyze their data. So they're doing things that, that no one else does. They're learning how to be that person who creates the questions. One of the biggest things that I learned here was how to put the work in, and I think that's kind of an everything thing. In IB, you have to put the work in because otherwise you're not breaching your potential. They have so much they're, they're still going to do with their lives. They're at a stage where they're planning their future, and I love talking to them and listening to them, and I love seeing them get that sparkle in their eye when they understand something that they didn't understand before.